very good evening and welcome to the show. Now, how would you like it or how would you react if your next door neighbors dropped a sack of his garbage at your doorstep? Hypothetically, as it may seem, that's the problem that stares more than 2 lakh people of Kodungayur right in the face. Over 3,500 tons of garbage from all over the city is dumped in this uh, one location, of course, uh, the second one being the Peringuri dumpyard. Now, the residents are a miffed lot and not just because of the stench. Meanwhile, Corporation of the Record has put up its arms and is asking the question, if not here, then where? Waste management, or as some would say, the lack of waste management is leading to a lot more than just clenched noses. Joining me on the show tonight, of course, sir, to discuss this one very relevant and pertinent issue is Mr. Raj Cherubal, a member of Chennai City Connect. Also joining us is Mr. Sri Nevasan, a civil rights activist. Welcome to the show again. I'm Ashmit Kumar. We'll, of course, be asking the big question tonight on behalf of the citizens of Kodingayur, on behalf of the citizens of Chennai, on behalf of even the logistical concerns confronting the corporation. But first, a look at the top stories. Marun Jr. is not yet off the hook, says CBI. No proof now, but investigations are on. Borwell turns into a death trap. Five-year-old child dies in Trinal Valley after falling into a 200 feet deep borewell. Direct election of Mayor, 200 wards, scores of applicants. Chennai is gearing up for civic polls. Chennai's killer city roads are the city roads records nearly 3,800 fatal accidents in three months. How does Kudinga Youth feature in Amma's cleanup drive? Decentralization versus the centralization of waste management. The debate rages on. Nama Chennai is set to grow. Amma announces satellite towns on Chennai Bangalore Highway. 12,000 12, affordable houses to be on the cards. Fox star and AR Murgadas uh, co-production are ready with their slice of life film. We bring to you an exclusive sneak peek. Well, let's also take a look at stories coming in from across the country. The CAG's report on Air India expansion is tabled in the parliament and severely criticizes the expensive fleet expansion plan. LK Advani wants to challenge the government to arrest him as he had asked for the cash for votes sting operation. The number of dead in the Delhi High Court blast goes up to 12 as an injured man dies in the hospital. A terror email sent by media agencies apparently from Huji is traced back to Jammu and Kashmir, but it could be a prank. Amar Singh will remain in jail for at least one more day after his bail hearing is postponed in the cash for vote scam. Reliance Industries hoarded land meant for petroleum exploration. The audit report tabled in Parliament has a scathing indictment. And Congress President and UPA Chairperson Sonia Gandhi returns to Delhi last night after her surgery in the US. Well, first up in what was termed as an avoidable accident by investigating officers, a four-year-old boy who fell into a 200 feet deep abandoned bowwell yesterday morning died in Trinalveli district. Now, though the boy was stuck at a depth of 20 feet, the terrain was rocky and it took more than 12 hours for the police and rescue services to drill a parallel bore right next to rescue the boy. Now, the tragedy happened at a temple area. The 200 feet deep bow well was abandoned after a failed attempt to strike any water. Well, moving ahead now, five years ago, the whole country watched and rejoiced a five-year-old prince who was rescued from a bow well that he had fallen into. But to many others, like five-year-old boy, criminal Veli boy, Sudarshan, borewells have been a deathbed. Now, how safe are our children when they go out to play? We recall similar events and also get experts to tell you the do's and don'ts. Lord Raj has this story. Despite massive rescue operations, five-year-old Sudarshan could not be saved. On Wednesday morning, he had fallen into the abandoned borewell in Nanganeri. But this is not a one-off case. In 2003, Tamil Mani, a two-year-old boy, fell into a bore well in Mannadi and died. In 2004, Ajit fell into a bore well in Dharmapuri, which proved to be fatal again. In 2004, Devya Raj, a six-year-old boy from Dindigal, was rescued. In 2009, Gopinath, a three-year-old boy, fell into a bore well in Tiruvannamalai and died. But once an incident has taken place, very important that uh, the authorities are informed. Uh, immediately the authorities are informed, yes, they can uh, uh, muster whatever uh, resources they have at their disposal and uh, ensure that the uh, person is saved. Meanwhile, police have arrested four persons under sections 283 and 304A of the IPC, in other words, for negligence. 
Well, now the initial announcement at the assembly this morning has brought with it a new township. The chief minister announced the construction of a satellite township which will be developed uh, on the Chennai Bengaluru Highway at a cost of 2160 crores. Now, the satellite town will be developed over an area of 311 acres. As a part of the government's plan, the TNHP will build multi story departments near Ashok Pillar. The plans also feature a 3% allotment to differently abled persons. The town would also be able to boast of a 17-storied office complex. A multi-storied commercial complex will also be seen in Coimbatore. Tamil Nadu Vittu Vasari Variyam Sarvil, Irandairithu Nootru Aruvadu Kodi Rubai Selavil, Munnootri Padanundri Pulli Poojjiyam Aindu Ekar Parappalavil, Sembarambakam, Kuttambakam, Parvadarajapuram, Narasingapuram Matrum, Wella Wede, Gramanggalai, Wulla Dakiye, Tirumalai, Tunai Pool, Naharam, Adavde, Tirumalai Satellite Township, Amai Kapadam Yel Barai, Maget Chodan Terabetu Kolkere. Yenda Tunai Pool, Naharam, Kudinir Vasadi, Kadibanir Akhatrum Vasadi, Saalekhel, Madai Nir Vadikal, Terubala Kekhel, Samudaya Kudam, Pali, Maruthwa Manai, Perundu Nelayam, Kunga. விளையாட்டு திடல் போன்ற அனைத்து அடிப்படை வசதிகளும் கொண்டு அமைக்கப்படும் And well, in more updates from the assembly, the TASMAC was in focus for a second consecutive day. A day after it was revealed that uh, the TASMAC revenues had uh, shot up to 15,000 crores. Today, it is the turn of TASMAC employees to be in high spirits. The government announced a wage hikes for TASMAC staff. The hikes ranges from 500 to 300 rupees per month. The hikes are effective from September. Well, in news of some political heat now, the DMK appears to be ailing from a walkout viral. After a walkout and eviction earlier in this week, the DMK today staged yet another walkout. Now, the party alleged a disrespect towards party leaders who are not being allowed to express their views. <laughs> Well, some updates coming in. A court in Tamil Nadu's uh, Trinalveli district sentenced six people to life in a Rajagopalan murder case. Uh, Rajagopalan, the then state president of uh, Hindu Manani, a Hindu outfit, was murdered in Madurai in October 1994. Now, the court has awarded double life sentence to one of the convicts. Well, uh, moving ahead now, long queues have become a daily phenomena at the ruling AIDMK party headquarters at Roy Pet. Now, with the crowds of applicants squelling uh, by the day for the Chennai Corporation elections, the AIDMK has extended the date of receiving applications by three more days. Now, Chennai City is expanded from uh, the existing 155 wards to 200 wards to include the nine municipalities, eight town panchayats, and 25 panchayats. Now, the direct election of the mayor this time has also made more applicants pour into the party headquarters. Marutu Manayakar, Arisi on the yellow CRC good to the Adalam bus pass and in the Vivasa agriculture along the Adam Madalam Kutte, Yala Rode Peri and Alasi Ama Petroganga, Inu Naria Saivang Ama, and the Lai Alarm and Allah Manasoda, Adadu Amada, Uruangan Solid, Muech for the Rukona. Nanga Ulach is the Manupurgo, the Aranga Chinala Makala and Lumbranga, Yangama Ipurgana, Nang in the Ulachella, Nichima Vitri, Kenyama. And well, and some striking revelations uh, were made about uh, road traffic in Tamil Nadu. It appears that in the first three months of this year alone, nearly 3,800 persons died in road accidents. The Road Transport Minister V. Senthil Balaji today revealed in the Assembly that from January to March, over 16,700 accidents occurred, out of which over 3,500 resulted in fatalities. Now, meanwhile, the Minister also revealed that vehicular population has uh, soared by 12%, the total number of vehicles number at about 1.36 crores. Well, we are heading into a very short break now. We'll come back with lots more for you on the other side. Keep watching.